Well, TGIF, thank goodness it's Friday here. Welcome to the MAC weather page. And uh, we got warmer temperatures in uh, early next week. We see temperatures possibly climbing well into the 70s, maybe even around 80 degrees, especially for Tuesday. And if the cold front's slower, we could see temperatures possibly in the 70s to close to 80 on Wednesday as well. But that will be very dependent on uh, when that cold front comes through. But we got a chilly weekend coming up. In fact, high Saturday may only struggle to be in the mid to upper 40s. And we could see some wet snowflakes across the area up to late tonight into early Saturday morning. Would not be shocked if somebody uh, sent a picture showing some of the grassy areas covered with snow in central or north central lower Michigan. And again, about a 50% chance, I have 30 there, but about a 50% chance of that showers. Again, showers this morning with the first cold front, then the Alberta Clipper system drops down for tonight into tomorrow, gives us more showers with a chance of maybe some wet snowflakes. As far as uh, Thursday, we had a high of 65 and a low of 34, no precipitation. Normal highs are in the uh, low 60s with normal lows around 40. And we're going to be quite a bit colder than that the next couple of days before that big warm-up. But more cold air comes in behind that system for the second half of next week. But we have a really nice, comfortable three or four days coming up starting Sunday up around 60. If we look at the uh, growing degree days, and if we look at this compared to last year, you can see just how slow of a start we're off to. This is about uh, midsummer. This would be about three or four days uh, behind if we had midsummer type conditions. So again, off to a pretty slow start. And you can see nationally, as far as corn planting, we're, we haven't been this uh, uh, low as far as uh, planting season since 2009. So again, we, uh, we do expect things are going to warm up a little bit for the summer. We expect above normal temperatures, I think, for the months of June, July, and August. But uh, with the El Nino coming on late in the uh, summer and in for this upcoming winter, we think it's going to be a, a Madoki type El Nino. So those tendencies are uh, for a very early beginning to the winter. So the one concern we'll have as we get towards uh, September and uh, that we could see an early frost or freeze condition, that would be the biggest risk I think we have, being that we're going to be off to a little slower start on the planting season. And if we look at temperatures out there this morning, temperatures a few, quite a few degrees warmer than yesterday, temperatures in the uh, upper 30s to low 40s across the area, that's because of the cloud cover and some of the showers moving into the region. And you can see those showers. This is the first cold front. That'll bring some scattered showers to much of the area. And then here comes our clipper system. You can almost see some of the rotation uh, and we'll show that on a satellite, but you can see that dropping down out of uh, Alberta into Minnesota, heading towards southern Wisconsin into the uh, southern part of the state. And again, that could bring us uh, some showers tonight with some mixed snow, especially from areas around Lansing off to the north. And if we look at that on satellite view, you can see this low pressure system now coming into Minnesota. And again, it'll drop to the southeast and the uh, main precipitation field will be just to the north of the track of that storm. Heaviest precipitation amounts are going to be around in south of Lansing, so anything that does fall in the form of snow to the north is going to be in some of the lighter precipitation forecasted amounts. So we don't expect really anything to stick, but a heavier snow burst could certainly whiten up the ground across central and north central lower Michigan tonight. And as far as the uh, weather map this morning, you can see that cold front coming through with a low pressure system and then here comes our Alberta Clipper system with a secondary cold front behind that and that's going to ensure that we have troughing over the Great Lakes and a pretty chilly weekend but we'll see a rapid warm-up as we get into Sunday evening. Sunday's highs again will get up to close to 60 degrees and then I think we'll be around 70 on Monday and well into the 70s on Tuesday into possibly Wednesday as well and we could even see some pretty good thunderstorms I think as we get into uh, the midweek time frame as that cold front clashes into the uh, very warm and uh, becoming muggy uh, type air mass. It'll feel a lot like summer, especially for the day on Tuesday and the Wednesday morning at least. And you can see precipitation amounts. These are over the next 48 hours. These are for these two systems coming through the area now. And you can see not a lot of precipitation expected with that, and even less up in the areas where we expect that we'll see some snow mixed in. As far as the next seven days though, you can see that southwest uh, flow of uh, moisture coming up with all that warm air will meet the cold front and that'll produce Quite a bit more in a way of precipitation right now. I would expect that these amounts may even increase somewhat, but overall a good solid half inch to three quarters of an inch will be possible here over the next seven days. As far as snowfall amounts, well the fact that here we are almost coming to the uh, month of May and we have uh, the computers printing out snowfall, whether we get it or not, what it does definitely tell us that this is a very cold air mass for this time of the year, so snow or no snow, our very cold and uh, somewhat stormy spring certainly continues. 
As far as the forecast goes today, highs in the mid 50s may drop later on in the afternoon and we'll see highs only in the 40s for Saturday. And again, overnight, we could see that showers, maybe even some wet snowflakes mixed in, especially across the northern MAC and LAC areas. Places like Lakeview and the Wago, Brockenheads, Middleton, over towards Marlette have the best chance of seeing some wet snowflakes. And then lots of sunshine as we go through the weekend. Temperatures, again, warming up very rapidly as we get into early next week. And don't be surprised if somebody, Lustfield, Jasper, places like that might hit 80 degrees on Tuesday. And again, we may see that warm air continue into Wednesday before showers and thunderstorms become more commonplace beginning Tuesday night into Thursday as it looks right now. As far as weather watch, nothing for the Great Lakes, just some frost uh, advisories out into portions of Kansas. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great weekend, and 73s to all.